Okay, let's take a look at this situation. We have a number, in this particular case it's 7, and we have 7 divided by 0. So the question is, is this allowed in mathematics? Okay, can we do this? And if so, what's the answer? Or uh, is this not allowed? Why is it not allowed? This is a very important topic, so it'll be a quick video on this principle. So hopefully you'll stick around, and we'll get to this uh, answer in a second. But first, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over many, many years, I've constructed several online uh, math courses. You can find a link to my math help program and courses in the description of this video. Also, if you want to pick up a set of math notes, uh, you can find uh, a link to those in the description and beneath this video as well. Okay, so let's get to the question here, uh, 7 divided by 0. All right, so is this allowed? Well, let's just get to the answer. And the way I want to do it is go into your calculator. And if you have a cell phone or calculator, if you're watching this on some device, right, uh, whether it be a smartphone or a computer, you can open, open up a calculator someplace. So go into your calculator and let's do a couple, just do a quick experiment, okay? All right, so we're going to go 7 divided by 0, and you're going to hit equal. All right, so what happened when you did that? <laughs> now, most of you, you probably saw something like this error, right? You saw something that you didn't understand. Well, in fact, that is uh, correct. We cannot divide by 0 in mathematics, so that is the answer. All right, this is not allowed. This is not allowed. Now, I'm going to get into... Uh, a little bit more why that isn't the case. But now let's not confuse that with uh, 0 divided by 7. Okay? So if you do this in your calculator, the answer is going to be 0. Right? So this is okay. This is perfectly fine. This is not. You cannot divide by 0. So this comes into play when we're solving equations. It's extremely important uh, mathematical concept. All right? That, that uh, is the more you study mathematics, algebra, and more advanced math, uh, you'll come into situations where where we, you, we end up getting a zero in the denominator, and then we have to put some restrictions on the values that cause that. All right, let me give you an example here for a second. All right, so let's say I have this 7 over x, okay? So 7 over x, and um, I want to ask myself, I'm like, okay, what values of x... Uh, can I plug in here, okay? So this expression, let's just actually technically call it a function. If you haven't seen this notation, don't panic, okay? But this is a little bit of algebra. Okay, so here's a function, and it's 7 over x. So basically, the way this works is the following, okay? So if I want to know what f of 7 is, all right? I'm going to plug in 7 for x. I'm going to replace this x with 7. So that's going to be 7 over 7, and 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1. So for this particular function, f of 7 was equal to 1. All right, no problem. Now, so a uh, question arises when we're talking about functions, which are hugely important in mathematics, is, all right, well, I was able to put 7 in here, and I got 1 as output. So this was my input. And this is my output. So what values am I allowed to plug into this function? Well, it turns out that you can plug in basically any number you like, any real number. Okay, any number. Let's take a look at a number line like so. Here we have 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. We got all these nice negative decimals, fractions, positive fractions, positive decimals. We can go all over here to infinity and negative infinity. We can just choose any number we want on this number line except for one. <laughs> except for one, and what is that? Zero. Okay, all these numbers we could plug into this function and it will be allowed. We'll get an output. Okay, we will get some other number as an output. So in this case, we have to put restrictions on uh, this particular function. So f of x is equal to 7 over x. What is the inputs? What, what are the allowable inputs? That's something called the domain in math. And don't, you know, panic if you haven't learned this stuff yet. All this means is, hey, what can we 
what numbers can we input into this function? Right? I just showed you how we can put 7 in, you can put 10 in, you can put negative 3 in, and we'll get some number out. But that's all the domain is. Well, the domain is, hey, you could put all these numbers in. You could put everything in. We call these the real numbers. Okay, all these guys right here, except x cannot be 0. So understanding, uh, you know, about 0 and where it comes in, you do have to note those restrictions, okay, because it's not allowed in mathematics. So kind of think about it this way. So let's, uh, let's go back to our example of 7 and 0. So... Let's say you and your seven friends uh, uh, found zero dollars, right? And you're like, oh, wow, we found zero dollars. Awesome. Uh, let's split it up seven ways, okay? So you're going to take that zero dollars, you're going to split it up seven ways. Each of you are going to get how much? <laughs> yeah, you're going to get zero, right? So this zero divided by seven is going to be zero. Now, let's look at the reverse of that, okay? And let's ask if this makes sense, right? So we have nothing. We're trying to divide 7 by nothing. Like, I don't know how you conceptually think of that, right? Like, we got to divide it in some ways, and it's, this is, you know, we run into problems. Now, this particular concept, divided by 0, gets, you know, even uh, in much more advanced mathematics, calculus and whatnot, it plays out even uh, further. But you need to know that... Uh, you cannot divide by zero in mathematics. That's the main, main thing that I want you to walk away from. In this video, again, you can divide by zero. You can divide it into zero all day long. That would be zero. But you cannot divide by zero. Okay. So with that being said, hopefully this little video was interesting and you learned something. Um, and hopefully you'll become a subscriber. I'm posting uh, new and interesting math stuff all the time. I already have hundreds and hundreds of videos that can benefit you. If you like this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you really want to um, see my full math instruction or, or really get into my math help programs, then you can just find a link. Links to all that stuff in the description of this video. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.